Hello preppers, welcome to Gosha Prepping. This is a great video I have for you today. Six things that you need to prep that most people don't think about, which will come in very handy in case crap hits the fan. So let's go through all six of them. So number one is lye. All kinds of uses for lye, by the way, and I'll put some links below in case you wanna get some of these. First off, soap making. Just simply, you know, next time you shoot a deer, you take the fat, you can render the fat with a lye and make your own soap. So soap making, this has been done for the longest time. Number two, this stuff is amazing for cleaning out drains. I mean, obviously it's a more a household thing, but you know what? Sanitation and drain maintenance, et cetera, during crap hits the fan is very important. And one of the things it does with that, it dissolves grease, completely just breaks it down. Now, in that note, it also works great for, for example, people like the Mexican cartel who like to dissolve dead bodies. They've been notorious for taking lye and dissolving bodies. So I don't know if that's a use for you during the crap hits the fan, but it is an option. As the heat grows, your body's dissolved. Number two, rat traps. Obviously for catching rats, that's one good use for them, but they have a lot of other uses too, by the way. Number one is deterrent for other animals. You have like a chicken coop, you wanna put rat traps around it. It may not like rat trap a, a possum and you know kill it obviously, but it'll keep them away. And over and over again, when they keep snapping on them, it'll deter them and the, the simple pain of snapping on their tail, et cetera, will stop them from going after your chickens. Well, hopefully anyway. Uh, secondly, it's a great determinant for snapping people. You want to uh, make it so if you have it in certain places in your house, let's say you have valuables that so you think somebody's gonna break in, they put their hands up and snap on them too. Over and over again, it'll make them very angry and hopefully leave as well. But even beyond that, it works amazingly as a noise maker. You can actually pick up noise makers. I'll put a link below for these. Obviously in some states you can't have these, but as it snaps, you put it on the noise maker and it makes a really loud pow sound. This works very well to let you know somebody's in your house. Rat trap, ow! Number three, sanitary napkins. Emergency bandages, obviously. People talk about this all the time. Also great for absorbing spills. Yes, that's true. You can even take these things, put them, soak them in water and put them in the freezer and they work as great ice packs. Now, real quick thing you need to understand, people talk about if you, know, if you have like a big gash, you can put a sanitary napkin on there, a sanitary pad. It'll work very well basically as a bandage. But people talk all the time about how if you get like a stab wound, for example, you can put a tampon in there. No, you can't. <laughs> you definitely cannot do that. It's going to cause problems with the coagulation and it will not help the situation. You definitely need to put a simply a sanitary napkin on that as well. Hey, Sheldon. Oh, Penny, excellent. I have a question about these maxi pads. <laughs> Number four, lime. No, we're not talking about the lime that's delicious that you put in water and such. Lime is a chemical that actually works very well for two things. Number one, neutralizing soil. If you have too acidic soil and you're trying to garden, you know, some plants like tomatoes like acidic soil, but you can always put lime on it so it'll reduce the acidity, it'll increase the pH if you wanna look at it that way. And in top, on top of that, it actually adds calcium and magnesium to the soil. Now, secondly, lime works very well for sanitation. Let's say you have an outhouse and let's say it's starting to smell, which outhouses do, I've been in one before, you take a little bit of lime powder to sprinkle over it, just be careful not to breathe in the powder as you do it, and it'll work very well in neutralizing the odors of your outhouse. I take my life in my hands every time I walk out to my outhouse. Number five, pantyhose. You have some leftover pantyhose around your house, there's lots of uses. Number one is a tourniquet, by the way. It works very well in case you have that emergency situation in which you need to like tourniquet and arm or a leg. Also, you can do it as a food strainer, you can put food in it to sediment stuff out, including like sediment from a pond if you actually want to filter water. In fact, overall, water filtration works very well with pantyhose for the fact that you can put it inside like a charcoal layer with some sand. It'll actually will help trap the sediment so you have cleaner water. Hopefully you have some clean pantyhose if that's the case. Another option too is you can hang up food with it like onions and such and garlic. And so that way you can hang them up as you need it. And on top of that, nine out of 10 bank robbers agree that pantyhose works really well in disguise in your face. Where did you get these pantyhose? I got it from my mom's gym bag. Number six, lubricants. Oh, we all know what this is used for. No, not that, you creepo. We're talking about mechanical stuff. You need to have grease and lubricant to keep things going. Everything from your bicycle, your lawnmower, maybe you have some type of auger or some type of trimmer. These type of things over a long period of time can start to get chewing up, even a lawnmower. So putting grease on these fittings works very well. I always use a white lithium grease personally. I know a lot of people like to use WD-40. And there's one thing I can say about that is don't do it. WD-40, I'll be honest with you, and ask any mechanic by this way, they'll tell you it's like the worst thing in the world. 
If anything, it works a little bit as a penetrating fluid to break you know, seized parts apart. But people spray on everything. And what happens with WD-40, as you spray stuff, it leaves a residue on there and actually makes it worse off in the long run. So WD-40 is not your friend. Again, any mechanic will tell you that. So lubricants, a very, thing to add, a very good thing to add to your list. So there you go. There are six things that I can look at as far as just weird stuff that you should be prepping. Obviously, you have more stuff too. Feel free to put them in the comments below and let's talk about that so we're all ready. Thanks for watching.